So looking at the hand, first thing we want to identify is the piece of connective tissue that covers over the palm here. That's called the palmar aponeurosis. It's a webbing, covers over the palm. And <clears throat> attached to that palmar aponeurosis is this small muscle that we can see here, which is called palmaris brevis. We can see that it goes from the aponeurosis over here towards these muscles at the base of the little finger here. So it just kind of, those fibers would sit right over the top of this muscle here. So palmaris brevis, that's the counterpart to this one that we saw before, which is palmaris longus. Both of those muscles provide tension to that palmar aponeurosis. So if we take the aponeurosis, we're going to take palmaris brevis, fold that back here. We're going to take the aponeurosis and just reflect it down like that. And here we uncover these two regions here. We have this region at the base of the thumb is called the thenar eminence. And this region here at the base of the little finger is called the hypothenar eminence. And there are three muscles located in each one of them. And they're going to be mirror images of each other. So if we go over on the thumb side, we're going to have this muscle here. That's going to be your abductor pollicis brevis. And if we go just medial to that here, you're going to have flexor pollicis brevis. And if we go just lateral to it, we'll just move this over a bit there. And we got that muscle right there, which is opponent's pollicis. So we have those three on that side. Abductor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis, and then over here, opponent's pollicis. And then on the other side, we're going to have the same three muscles, just going to the little finger instead. So we'll have this one here, which is going to be abductor, abductor, digiti, minimi. And then under that, you're going to have move this over a little bit like that. You're going to have this muscle right here, that one, which is going to be flexor, digiti, minimi. And then under all of that, over here, you're going to have opponents digitime minimize. So you have those same three muscles on that side. The next ones you want to find are going to be in this area here, and those are going to be the lumbrical muscles. So if you locate the tendons for your flexor digitorum muscles here, each one of the tendons has a muscle that runs along its length here called a lumbrical muscle. And they're all going to be located on the thumb side of each one of the tendons. So if we come over here, here we got the tendon, we go to the thumb side, we have your first lumbrical muscle there, here we got the tendon, come to the thumb side, second lumbrical, here, open that up there, got your third lumbrical there, and then here, move this out of the way, and you have your fourth lumbrical there. So you got first, second, third, fourth lumbrical muscle. Next ones you want to find, if we turn this over like this, if we look in between, in between the thumb and the index finger, you can see you got two muscles there. One on the posterior side and one more anterior. If we come over to this side, we can see that anterior one a little bit better right here in that area. That is going to be your adductor pollicis, adductor pollicis. And on the other side, the one we were seeing here, that is going to be your first dorsal interosseous muscle. So we're going to have muscles located in between the metacarpals of the hand. If we're on this side of the hand, they'd be dorsal interosseous. So this would be your first. Second one's going to be in here. Third one's going to be in here. Fourth one's going to be in there. So they're covered up by some of these extensor digitorum tendons. But that first dorsal interosseous, you can see well there. On this side, underneath of all of these muscles here, underneath the tendons and the muscles, you can see it a little bit, maybe down in there. So underneath that fascia, down in that area, would be a palmar interosseous muscle. You're going to have three palmar ones. Okay? And they'd be underneath of the digitorum tendons and underneath of those lumbrical muscles down in there. Next thing we want to see is the 
uh, carpal tunnel. So let's, we're gonna open it up here. So we can see if we try to pass underneath of this connective tissue here, you can see I can pass a probe through that spot there. And if we take the, oops, if we take the Palmer aponeurosis and just reflect it here, we should be able to see the probe go through the carpal tunnel there. So right now I have the probe going through the carpal tunnel. So the carpal tunnel is formed by the carpal bones. They make a U like this around the wrist, this way. And then closing off that space, there'll be a piece of connective tissue going like this, right across here. And that's called the flexor retinaculum. And that's what I'm underneath here. So we're gonna cut the flexor retinaculum so we can open this up, just so we can identify the contents of the carpal tunnel here. So now we can see one side where we cut the flexor retinaculum right here. You can see along there. And then you can see if we lift this up, there's the other side of that flexor retinaculum. So that would have closed off that space there. Now that we've opened this up, we can now identify the contents of the carpal tunnel. And let's just open this up a little bit here. All right, and the first thing we can see is going to be this, this vessel right here. Just cut some of the fascia here so we can separate it. That right there is going to be your median nerve. There. see the median nerve there that's one thing going through we just kind of move that out of the way here just get rid of this a little bit there. now we can see the tendons for your flexor digitorum muscles so here is There is flexor digitorum superficialis, that's going through there. If we move that one out of the way, we can then see flexor digitorum profundus going through there. And if we open this up a little bit. Here, this one here is going to be flexor, you can see that right there. This guy right there is going to be flexor pollicis longus. So you see that one is going through there. And that's going to be it. That's what's going to be located inside of that carpal tunnel there again. Median nerve, median nerve, flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and flexor pollicis longus right there. All of those things are going to be contained within the carpal tunnel. Tuck those back in there. 
close that back up. 